What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. For the Titans in this ball game, I look at the early involvement of the tight ends. I think they can have some success with their tight ends, Delaney Walker and Chase Kaufman versus the Houston Texans, not only in the passing game, but also as blockers in the running game. And I would also zone blitz Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's a guy that's a see it throw type of a quarterback. So there are some opportunities for you to pick off passes, perhaps with maybe a linebacker or even a defensive lineman, because a lot of times he doesn't see where he's throwing the football. And the Titans have to be able to flip field position versus the Houston Texans. They have to make Houston drive the length of the field each and every time. So the goal is to get three first downs per possession, or even when you're punting the football, trying to pin these guys deep on the back end, maybe inside the 25 yard line. That's one way they can put themselves in great position to have success. And for the Texans in this ballgame, you want to run your way to victory. They've done a great job in the absence of Arian Foster, who will be back now versus Tennessee and running the football. So I think now that you have a two-headed monster with Arian Foster and Alfred Blue, you can have some success in dominating up front with the ground game. And Ryan Fitzpatrick's pocket presence has to improve. He cannot take sacks. He cannot turn the football over. He has to do a better job now that he's returning to the starting lineup than what we saw from him earlier in the season. And you look at J.J. Swatt versus a young rookie quarterback in Zach Mettenberger who tends to flatline a lot of pass, which means talented defensive end J.J. Watt has plenty of opportunities this week to get tip passes, which could result into interceptions. This week versus the Houston Texans, the Tennessee Titans will have to get the passing game going with a young quarterback in Zach Mettenberg. And I'm going to show you one way they can attack cover three versus that Texans defense. Show you what we have drawn up here. We're going to put this back in motion and we're running quick outs versus cover three, which means we want to attack the flat defenders and get the football out of the hands of Zach Mettenberg really quickly. So we're going to send this guy in the slot up on the streak, try to get this guy out of the way and take away one of the deep third receivers. And what we're doing front side which is the tight end side we're going to run him on a speed out and this this guy here is on a speed out so again it's all about Mettenberger work him up take away the safety so now you've taken away the safety you've taken away the third guy and you probably have taken away this guy as well if he's going to follow the uh, tight end going up now that you put the back in motion if he becomes a flat defender so you want to read which is the best or ideal area in the zone to attack it's a simple concept you have dual out so he can pick which side he wants to throw to and that's one way he can have some success this week versus the houston texans that's a way you can attack cover three with the quick outs the houston texans love to run the power play and obviously anytime you're able to run the football effectively the play action pass will work to perfection i'm show you one play they can utilize off of that power running play it's a pass play that you want to run what i like about the power that is coming front side so you have everything coming front side Defenders are going to flow to the football to try to stop it at the line of scrimmage. And what you're trying to do, we have a tight set, tight alignment on the backside with the X. He's running across the formation, three to five, and then he's going to sit right over the center. So that could be one safety valve. Now, at the play action pass, you're going to have the fullback leak out three yards in the flat, tight ends going up five yards. You have your clear out route on the outside, clearing space for you to hit one or two, depending on how hard this guy is coming off the edge or how fast this guy buzzes or follows underneath so this will be one two and you work back to your hang route which is your third option so that's one way the houston texans can have some success this week versus tennessee coming off their power running game The biggest X factor in this game for Tennessee will be their receiving core. I do like the talent that they have out there on the flanks with Justin Hunter, Kendall Wright and company. I do believe they can have some success versus the Houston Texans. This will be a big test. There are two outstanding corners on Houston squad and Kareem Jackson and also Jonathan Joseph. And if those receivers of Tennessee can win those individual matchups on the outside, it bodes well for their chances of having success. And for the Texans, you want to keep an eye on the other defensive end, Jarrett Crick, who's quietly having a very good season on both ends of defense. And if he can continue to be disruptive in the running game and also apply pressure on the quarterback, it just makes that defensive front seven that much more dangerous and I think could have a huge impact in this ball game.
I like the Titans in this ball game. I believe Tennessee has been close the last couple of weeks with Zach Mettenberger at the helm, but I think their defense will be the biggest reason why they come away victorious versus Houston. I think what they'll do is confuse Brian Fitzpatrick back there in the pocket, come away with a couple of turnovers, and be able to slowly pull away in the fourth quarter. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Titan fan forums and Texans fan forums for always showing football game plan support.